Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make peppery chicken fried chicken. My family voted it the best recipe yet on my channel. They raved all day about it. So it's a little long, but worth every minute for all the compliments. Compliments. Compliment. Uh, new subscribe, Bonnie Myers, Crazy Good Food. Hit that bell and can get all my new notifications. I'm going to show you how to prepare the chicken breast for the recipe. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick. I take scissors and see, chicken breast was like that when I bought it. So I just take scissors and I cut it in half. That's my scissors. And there's like any fat like that, I cut all the fat off. Anything that looks like you don't want to eat it. Cut all that off. It looks pretty clean to me. I put it on my dish. I'll just do it one more time. Okay, see all that? I just cut all that off. Cut all that off there. I am not one to eat fat. So I just do that all with my scissors. So much easier than using a knife. So I use that. Let's press it hard on there like that. See how nice and clean that is now? If you don't want that strip on there, which doesn't matter, you just press hard and cut it off like that. Now we're all ready for the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to take the chicken. I have wax paper down. I have the top piece. Just to the side. And I just want this about a fourth of an inch thick. Let me see. Do just a little tiny bit more. I think that's really good. See how nice and flat and beautiful that is? That's what you want it to look like. Four cups of milk and four eggs and we're going to put it together. There's Okay, the egg and milk is ready. Now we're gonna make our dry ingredients, which will be two sleeves of crushed saltine crackers. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can just brush it with your hands like this. flour, baking powder, cayenne pepper, and two teaspoons of salt and pepper. Okay, so that's all ready. Mix it up good. Okay, everything is all ready. 
So I'm going to season up the chicken before I drench it through the milk and the um, flour. Okay, so, uh, I have a salt and pepper mixture, which I'll put it in the recipe. Okay, so now we're going to make the cutting for the chicken. So we're going to put it in the flour mixture first. Like that. We're going to drench it in the milk, hold it up, and back over into the flour mixture. Make sure it's coated. Well, that looks very, very good. Well, yummy, yum. and put it away then. Okay, so we have about a half inch of oil. We're gonna sit it on 375. New wave skillet, I don't know how I end up. I tested a lot of other ones and this is the only one that gets hot enough and stays hot enough and so. Okay, this, this is a half an inch of oil. He needs a 375. But see how they use your sizzling? Five minutes on each side. Set oven to 325 to keep all the chicken warm while you fry. Okay, so we're all finished here. Let's get the last three out, and now we're going to make our gravy. Don't run scared, we got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to dump all the two tablespoons of grease out of here, or drippings if you want to call it that. Okay, then I'll plug it once, it'll be easier. So I'm going to dump it. Okay, you kind of want all the stuff on the bottom with all the flavor. So we're going to whisk together. This is the gravy for the peppery chicken. I have to make the gravy.